Hi everybody, this is Maureen Wong for YourNextStamp.com. Today we're going to be making this cute card um, with an ombre stamped image using a DIY Distress ink pad that I made myself um, that I'm calling Brown Ombre. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the do-it-yourself ink pad. I have a blank ink pad here and I also have brushed corduroy, gathered twigs, and ground espresso. And what I've done is I've taken a sentiment from the Hammy Coffee and Tea set from Your Next Stamp and I stamped it out in each of those colors to see if they went well together and I think that they do. So I'm going to put all of that to the side because actually what you need is not the ink pads but the re-inkers. So I have the re-inkers in all three of those colors and I'm going to go ahead and open my DIY ink pad. It comes shrink wrapped so you have to take it out of the plastic wrapping. And I'm going to take off the cover and making sure that my colors are in the right order, I'm going to take the droppers and saturate the pads. And I've sped up the video because um, this isn't super important. The thing you want to remember is that you want it completely covered and you want to try and get it as evenly spaced as you can. And that's why I started in the middle because I... Um, kind of thought that if I started in the middle that would help me see the thirds better and so I'm doing the brushed corduroy on the top because that's the lightest then the gathered twigs in the middle and then the ground espresso on the bottom and I'm going to show you a little tip later on on how you can keep um, it straight in your mind what is the top and what is the bottom so now I'm going to take out my Hammy Coffee and Tea set and I'm using that same sentiment that I stamped earlier and I'm going to test out my new ombre ink pad. And it's a little hard to see there so let me hold it up to the camera but you can see there's a nice gradation of color on my ink pad now. So what I'm going to do is swipe it across the cover of the ink pad so that the label is colored so that I know this is the brown ombre ink pad that I've made. And it says that you can either take a brayer or a sponge, but I just swiped it with the pad. You have to let it dry for a while and this is what it looks like after it's dry. And how I keep that straight, since the colors have all blended together, I made a label that says brown ombre and I stick it on the bottom of the ink pad which is always going to be facing towards me so that's how I differentiate the top from the bottom and I'm always going to put the cover on so that it matches how the ink is oriented in that ink pad. Now I'm taking that hammy coffee and tea set from Your Next Stamp like I said and I'm using the little hammy in a cup and I'm going to ink him up really well on my DIY ink pad and stamp him down and you want to be kind of careful that you're not um, tapping onto your ink pad and then turning your ink pad and tapping it in again otherwise you're going to mix up your colors so you want to be kind of careful about how you ink up your stamp and not uh, move it around too much when you're inking it so you don't contaminate your pad and you can see what a nice gradation we have there on our hammy and now I'm taking the matching die and I'm going to line that up because I love matching dies and I'm going to stick it down with a piece of painter's tape and take that to my die cut machine and run that through and here he is all cut out and you can see that even the little handle cut out a little bit that's why I just love these matching dies now I've got my distress ink pad that I made and I'm smashing down the cover so that I pick up the ink from the ink pad in the cover and you can see there that little splotchiness and now I've cut a square of watercolor paper with our stitched square die set and I'm just uh, using a flat brush and I wet the piece of watercolor paper and then I'm picking up the ink from the cover of the ink pad and I'm not worrying about keeping those colors separate I'm just mixing them all up and um, 
brushing that onto my surface. I want a really loose watercolor background here so I'm not being too careful about what it looks like. Um, I'm just moving the color around to make sure that it's all covered. And then I dried that with my heat gun and now I'm going to speed up the video again for the assembly of the card. I have an A2 size card base of rustic white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink and I cut with my fishtail banner dies uh, this brown polka dotted paper and I'm gonna stick that down first with my ATG gun then I'm gonna stick down my watercolor panel and it's a little bit warped so make sure you put a lot of adhesive to keep it flat and I'm gonna put that down over my banner and stick that down and then I've put some foam tape on the back of my hemi and sticking that on with foam tape and I just realized that I forgot to put my sentiment on the square panel so I'm gonna get back out my hemi set and I'm going to stamp a sentiment and by the way if you notice there were lines on the back of my hemi die cut that's because I actually used a scrap of cardstock that uh, I had made a mistake printing on um, but you can't see the printing through the cardstock so I just used the back of it to stamp my hemi because I'm really cheap that way and sorry about me sticking my head in the shot here I needed to line up that word coffee and I'm using the ground espresso distress ink pad to stamp here um, I don't always use the distress ink pads to stamp sentiments but in this case I really wanted it to match so I'm using the ground espresso and it actually came out pretty nicely it's a little bit um, not as crisp as maybe some other inks might be but I think it came out pretty nice anyway and that says need coffee so that is my card for today I hope you like it and I hope we'll see you over at yournextstamp.com for these and many other fun products thank you very much for watching